Today, we're taking a look at another user's projects. This one is from Byron STEM Kits. There's a link to his website there, www.byronstemkits.com. And he has a YouTube channel, The Mr. Byron. And you can see it right there. So, let's take a look at what he sent. We have two kits here. This first one is a little nightlight kit that uses two resistors or two transistors in a Darlington pair and a photoresistor to tell when it's dark out. And this one is a persistence of vision kit using what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven LEDs and a PIC microprocessor. So we're going to build them both and have a look. Before we get started building the kits, today's video is sponsored by Dragon Touch, who wanted me to show you their new Max 10 uh, 10 inch Android tablet. It's running Android uh, 9 Pi, it has an octa core processor and a 1200 by 1920 IPS HD display if I can get the box open. There we go. Nice 10 inch tablet here. There we go. So the Dragon Touch, like I said, comes with uh, Android 9, 10 inch. It has Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and FM. Uh, 32 gigs of storage, a slim body, and a uh, HD 2.5D glass IPS touchscreen with dual speakers, dual band Wi-Fi, and a 10-hour battery, battery life designed for entertainment. It's $139 from an, uh, Amazon, and I'll put a link to it down below. Alright, we're going to start out with the nightlight kit. I don't know if I mentioned this, but Mr. Byram is an engineering teacher in Salt Lake City, Utah. So here's the schematic he sent us. As you can see, we have power coming in over here. You can do it through USB. And then it comes to a variable resistor here. Through this resistive divider consisting of a 47K uh, resistor and our PR1 photo resistor. And that split there is going to split the... Uh, the voltage coming in here and power up this Darlington pair of 2N2222 transistors and when they begin to conduct they will draw VCC down through that LED and power it up and it all depends on how much light hits that light sensor. So I've got all the parts laid out here and you can see he's included one of these little straw hat LEDs which has a nice wide dispersion. Alright, so we have everything laid out real nice here. 100, 100 ohm resistor and a 47K. And if you know your resistor codes, brown, black, brown, there's a 100. So we'll start by putting that one in. Don't worry, I'll move the uh, camera in just a second. Done a really nice job of laying these boards out. Resistors seem to fit quite nicely. And they're not the horrible blue resistors that you get from Chinese kits. So that's really nice. There's our variable resistor. Those blue ones are just, in my opinion, almost impossible to read. So I'm going to put a piece of tape on here to hold our components in place while we begin our soldering adventure. That one's not going to want to play nice, so what I'm going to do is just bend those legs out a little bit. 
And I'll bend this one out too. There we go. Let's get you a better view. Okay, the kit is complete. Very easy to assemble, anybody could do it. A um, couple things. The uh, LDR being so close to the capacitor, eh, kind of don't like that. Just, uh, I, I would have moved it, you know, maybe over here or something like this. I understand he wants to keep it as far away from the LED as possible. That's why I left the lead so long, so that I can kind of, you know, bend it out of the way if need be. So I've hooked up the USB to it. And let's power it up. And I'm going to turn the lights off here. There you go. Very nice. I like the use of the capacitor for the slow on and slow off. A nice little kit. Okay, we are on to kit two, which is the Persistence of Vision kit, and it's got very few parts. All the work is done by the PIC microprocessor. So we've got a, a coin cell battery. There is the uh, microprocessor on a little holder. We have some resistors and some LEDs. We got red, red, black, brown. Was that 201? What, 200 ohm? get our resistors in and for those of you with OCD among us I will make sure to put them all facing in the same direction that way I do not receive your angry emails I'm just kidding I'm not kidding about putting them in the same direction because that annoys OCD people. I'm just kidding about angry emails. I don't care if I get them or not. That just means you're watching the channel. So, I value your opinion. Unless you're being a complete doofus. Get in there. And if you guys have other projects that you would like me to cover and feature on the channel, I'm happy to do it. It doesn't have to be a PCB project. You know, any sort of uh, electrical or electronic project that you've done yourself and you're proud of and you want to show off, I'd like to show off it for you take advantage of the viewership which right now we're sitting at uh, what are we sitting at 92,000 almost we're getting so close to a hundred thousand so if you haven't subscribed yet you better subscribe it's like I need your vote subscribe I am itching to get that silver play button I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, but that has been my goal 
since I started this channel over three years ago is to get that silver play button so help me out subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet if you have thank you tell a friend and if you have any ideas what we can do for the hundred thousand subscriber episode let me know I would love to do something big something grand I, I really don't want to do a hundred thousand giveaway giveaways are great yeah here comes the train always a train and if I didn't give away half the stuff that they sent me I'd have nowhere to live because my house would be full but it becomes difficult if I say it's US only I feel as though I'm cheating my foreign uh, viewers and I don't want to do that but the price to ship things overseas I wanted to ship a big Clive a small package weighed maybe an ounce it was like $35 I've sh I have shipped some things overseas um, we had an Arduino starter kit I gave away a year ago that we shipped overseas to like somewhere in Eastern Europe you know probably a 12 by 8 inch box weighed you know virtually nothing cost $75 and you know I had to ask the uh, the recipient to pay the shipping I hate doing that so let me know if you've got an idea for the hundred thousand subscriber special assuming I make it there you know we do seem to be in somewhat of the the apocalypse at least here in the US I know in other parts of the world you guys are recovering we apparently are far too stupid to listen to our scientists and do what they say here it's all about money well, we can't close the businesses we'll lose money well can't spend it if you're dead now can you all right put some sticky tape to hold them in place then we'll go through and hit one of each for those of you who are paying attention and asked me about my ear I still can't hear anything. I had another visit with the uh, ear doctor who vacuumed it out and can now see my eardrum, he said. And he says it's full of fluid. So, probably going to end up with tubes in my ears. <laughs> he thinks he's going to do it in the chair at his office. Oh, I don't think so. I think we're going to need hospital grade pharmaceutical drugs for that particular endeavor. And I want you to be unconscious. This is what he tells me. He said, well, we'll put some drops in your ear to numb your eardrum and you won't feel a thing. Usually. I like that. Usually. He said, if they don't work, I have to give you a shot in your eardrum. I said, in my eardrum? He said, yep. I said, nope. I'll take an IV full of uh, anesthetics and sedatives, please. You can just wake me up when it's over. And <laughs> Tell me how I did. You did great. Thanks. I was sleeping. I was trying really hard. Because, uh, I know me. I mean, I've, I've been friends with me for going on 52 years. I will not react well to getting a needle shoved in my eardrum. Ta-da! That went all right. All right, let's put on this uh, socket. Making sure to align the notches. Well, there's no notch on this, so. 
Luckily, Mr. Byram has numbered the pins, so that is quite helpful. Come on. There we go. Well, almost. Who, who's not going in the hole? Who's not cooperating? There we go. Much better. So anyway, it's um, August 26th. I'm making this video. I go back to the ear doctor until September 18th. So it's probably going to be the holiday season before I can hear again out of my left ear. Which is really annoying. But compared to the medical problems that some other folks have, it's nothing. It's just annoying. Now this is relatively low speed. You're like, yeah, why do you say that? Well, I'm going to tell you. Hold on. I just didn't like the look of some of those joints. Um, You see the 90 degree angles in the traces? It won't be a problem at low speed. But if you get up into uh, the RF frequency range, you don't want 90 degree angles. 45 degree angles are fine. 90 is not so much. It will... Uh, impede the signal. All right. Who's next? Swim Vare. Who's next? Evening Vare. It's an old Wendy's commercial. I don't know why I remember it, but I do. All right, next is switches. There we go. I like switches that stay in their in their holes. I don't have to clip them out or anything. Clip them out. Good Lord, Paul. I don't have to glue them or tape them or anything. Just makes it easier. Okay, okay. Who's next? Switches. I know right now, as soon as I put that switch in there, old Barry the alligator lover down there in Florida is going, that's exactly what we want for the rocket launcher board. I know. I know, Barry. We'll get it. We are working on a version 2 of the rocket launcher board. My partner in this crime, Mr. Barry, wants to make it uh, compatible with the Estes model rocket folks. So, in order to do that, we're going to add a couple of little features in there for testing continuity and things of that nature. Oh Lord, I speak like Mike Tomlin and things of that nature. You'll know who Tomlin is. He's the coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers. The best American football team ever. You may leave your angry comments below unless you're a New England fan, in which case just shut up. Alright, I got some clipping to do. We even got an extra LED, unless I miss something, which is altogether possible. I tend to miss a lot of things. Alright, so pin one dot, pin one mark. Make sure everything... If it doesn't want to just kind of it's 
smoothly go in there you need to work on realigning your pins but that wasn't bad just took a little wiggle and it went right in all right so now put in the battery There we go. I don't think that's right. Yeah, that ain't working. Man! Okay, I think I figured out what the problem is. Um, it wasn't programmed. I was watching Mr. Byron's video. He said it was programmed with ABC. But it looks like this one wasn't programmed at all, so. We can come down here to one of his nifty charts. I want a heart. So that is on, off, 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 on, on, on. So we just hit change. And you can see it's in binary, the way it's counting. where we're at now we got on on off off on on I'm just looking down here in the chart where the heck is on on off off I don't even see it off off on okay I think we're here off off on on off 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 okay so that's T so next should be U this way it goes V yeah okay or that W not V W okay X Y, Z, something, something, three, that one, that one, that one, then we have a space, then we have a lowercase a, lowercase b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i, j, k, l, m, n, o, p, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z, which brings us down to here. Then we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which should be on, off, 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 on, off, off, yep. Then we have an exclamation point, a colon, and the heart which should be on, off, 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 on, on, on. We'll hit accept. Huh. We're back to that, are we? So to program it, you hold down one of the buttons, turn it on, it goes like that. So we are at on, off, 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 on, 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 which is our heart. Oh, that moves to the next one, gotcha. Okay. I'm, I'm understanding this better now. Good. All right, here we go. And there you can see the heart and the BC. So, it is working out pretty well. I think this is a very cool kit. 
nice so there you have a couple of cool kits from a cool guy mr byram be sure to check out his website these kits are very inexpensive and easy to build you can build that in 10 minutes even as a, a super beginner so thank you mr byram for sending the kits thank you for watching that's it i'm out peace